Hello, this is Bobby from Copel TV Repair. Today with a video for Samsung PN64E5530 uh, There will be a bunch of others I'm sure that will have the same issue and uh, the issue is that the TV starts with a black screen and uh, it stays on but there's nothing on the screen and if you bother to test, and that's a that's a tell sign of, of this problem, uh, if you bother to test the VS voltage that's coming out of the power supply, you can get it here to the ground, and you gotta be measuring volts and so on. On 600, in my case, it's 400 on this unit. Uh, if you power on the unit, the tell sign is that you will see the VS voltage coming up as the Samsung Auto starts playing and it raises to about 212 or what is it got to be 217 and then it starts going down and uh, that tells you to have a problem you can disconnect the X main board uh, it's still going to do the same you can disconnect the Y main board uh, as long as this cable is connected, it is going to do the same. If you disconnect this cable, which is the data signal cable for the Y board from the Plasma Logic, uh, the VS will keep on falling down, which may lead you to believe that this is the problem. That is incorrect. The problem is here on the uh, Y sustain board, and uh, it is actually a common problem for a number of boards that carry this. Uh, same design. This is a, a common pattern where a particular design um, and a particular follow-up manufacturing process with, with certain parts carry the same effect across different boards in different sizes. This is one thing that we have seen here as well. The solution is uh, fairly simple. Uh, it is simply replacing those three blue capacitors here and uh, some retailers will sell you the IC that is underneath uh, for a very simple reason. Uh, if they just sell you the three capacitors, that's going to be 10 bucks. If they sell you the IC along, that's going to be $20. The IC is $1, and that's pure $9 profit for them. At least I have never seen so far in all the boards that I've repaired, this one and similar ones, um, that IC fail. It doesn't mean that it cannot fail anywhere. It just means that vendors are taking advantage of you and uh, you shouldn't be doing that. This is the model of the board that I'm showing, LJ920906A and uh, you can find that those three caps at our website. There is no point right now showing you that this board works. Uh, it does work, it is just something that I hope will help you do better. I'm sure over time uh, buffer boards will start failing as well. Samsung has learned in their 11th or 12th generation of plasmas to put extra uh, heat sinks on the top buffer, on the top two ICs on the buffer boards. It took them so many years to learn that. Uh, it will be interesting to see how well it holds because, frankly, I have seen a few of those fail as well. Uh, despite of the heat sinks on top of them, which is more interesting in the older generations. Uh, they used to cover all of them with heat sinks and it didn't solve the problem. Uh, so, we shall see how it plays out. Alright, I uh, hope that will help you. It definitely did help us. It's a relatively fast and easy fix, but it can drive you nuts if you don't know what to look and where to look. And um, don't spend money on repair kits for $25, $30 that give you a bunch of parts that never go bad. Uh, this is very widespread in this business. Go for what does go bad and learn to think around. Because the truth is, it's not going to be always the minimal repair kit, but it's going to be most of the time. And anybody can throw in a bunch of capacitor resistors and stuff that have been known to fail on other boards um, and to charge you more. That's... That's pure taking advantage of you guys. Uh, this is what we know. We have never seen again that I see fail underneath. Uh, doesn't mean that it cannot happen. Eventually it might. But we've seen tens of boards like this one uh, where the only thing that goes bad are the three caps. That's all. Good luck.